Uh, BTEC Applied Science Unit 1, Physics Equations 1. To start with some fundamentals. Okay, so these are the equations that we need for Unit 1, for physics. Uh, you don't need to learn them. You'll be given them in the exam. Uh, there's a few things that you have to be able to do. You must know what all of the letters stand for. And it's a little confusing at times because sometimes they stand for different things. T equals 1 over F. T is the period of a, a wave. And V is root T over mu. T there is the tension in a string. So be careful. For each equation, make sure you know what the letter stands for. And make sure you know what the units are. If you do a sum... Uh, on your answer, you have to say what the units are. If you're working out the speed, then it's meters per second. Um, some of them don't have any units. Uh, for example, refractive index doesn't have units. It's just a number. But if it does have units, you must put the units in your answer uh, or else you probably lose a mark. You need to be able to rearrange them. And this is obviously something that a lot of students struggle with if they're not doing A-level maths is rearranging equations and we'll talk a bit more about that later. Very very important is prefixes. Uh, on the next slide we're going to talk about prefixes and again this is something that a lot of students struggle with. You must have a good scientific calculator. Not a mobile phone, not a pathetic thing that you got free in a Christmas cracker a good scientific calculator and you can buy one for about a fiver okay it's if you haven't got one then it's about time you grew up now you're a big boy a big girl get yourself a proper grown-up scientific calculator prefixes now you must learn these and be able to use them if you see a question for example it says the period of the wave was 40 ms now, that little m is not a typo. It's very, very important. What it actually says is that the period of the wave was 40 milliseconds. Little m is milli. That prefix is milli, and it means a thousandth. It means times 10 to the minus 3. It means that the period was 40 divided by a thousand, 0 0.04. OK, you must learn these prefixes in biology. When you do magnification, you have to use them as well. So milli, little m, is 10 to the minus 3. You know, the nail was 20 millimeters long. Micro has this symbol, mu, uh, 10 to the minus 6. The cell had a diameter of 70 micrometers. And nano, little n, is 10 to the minus 9. The wavelength of red light is about 600 nanometers, 10 to the minus 9 meters. Okay, the first three are for small things. The third three are for bigger things. Kilo, you should know. A kilometer, a kilometer is a thousand meters, 10 to the 3 meters. Mega is a million, 10 to the 6. The solar panel had a power of 5 megawatts, 5 million watts, and giga is 10 to the 9. The microwave had a frequency of 3.2 gigahertz. That's 3.2 times 10 to the 9 hertz. You must learn your prefixes and be able to use them. And saying that, you need to be able to put them in your calculator. Uh, if you can't do this, possibly because you've never been never had a proper scientific calculator. If you're going to buy one, get one which has this times 10 to the X button because it's very, very useful. If I want to put in my calculator 40 times 10 to the minus 3, then I press 40, then times 10 to the, in other words, that button, then that minus up the top there, and then 3. 40 times 10 to the minus three. Uh, it will appear on the calculator. If you press equals, it'll probably then say 0.04. So you must be able to put this information into your calculator to work things out. 
While we're here on this first video, let's have a look at this equation, t equals 1 over f. t is the period of oscillation of a wave, f is its frequency, and if t is 1 over f, then f equals 1 over t. They are the inverse of each other, the reciprocal of each other, the opposite of each other, if you like. If t equals 1 over f, then f equals 1 over t. A water wave has a frequency of 2.5 hertz, calculate its period, while t is 1 over f, 1 over 2.5 is 0.4 seconds. Don't forget the units. Now, on all of these videos, I'm going to give you a few examples for you to do. And what I'd like you to do is to pause the video and do it yourself. So pause the video now and do this for yourself. I'll put the answer up in about three seconds. And here's the answer. So the period we read off the graph is 0.4 seconds and the frequency is one over the period and that's 2.5 hertz.